So here are the chords for the song, uh, uh, old number seven by The Devil Makes Three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you the chords and then I'm gonna show you the order in which the chords come, okay? So first we're gonna start with a B minor. And I'm not going to tell you how to finger this, you can look it up uh, on Google or whatever, there's a ton of resources to look it up anyway. Starts with the B minor. Then we're gonna move it down one fret to a B flat minor. All right, that's gonna be your second chord. We have an F sharp. All right, F sharp. And then we also have an E major. We have an E7, which is basically just pulling off your ring finger. So you have an E major, pull off your ring finger. You have an E7. Same, just a little bit different flavors. It's more or less an E, but it's just a little different flavor. You hear that? Anyway, okay, so as far as the order of the chords, so you have your you have your, uh, your B minor here. So you have a B minor into a B flat minor. So you go, what's really important here is not just the order, but the way that you strum the strings and the, vi the overall vibe of the song. And how they're doing that is they're, they're alternating, picking the root note. In this case, the root note's gonna be the A string for these two chords. So you got the, the root note, chord, root note, chord, root note, chord. You can do that three times, right? So one, two. What that is, so ready? Three times. B flat minor. And what that is, is that down, up, down, and the switch. Down, up, down. So three times. up one, right, and then you got your, your F, uh, what is that, F sharp, same idea, hitting the root note, low E, three times, open E, F7, right back to E, so let me do that one more time, ready, let's just start from the beginning, times. that you have the chords and the order of the chords in, how do you make it sound like the actual song, right? So what you really want, the technique here is deadening the strings. It's almost like a reggae vibe, right? So, you get that reggae vibe. So what, what they're doing here is they're, they're playing the chord and immediately releasing. They're immediately taking the tension off the strings to deaden it. And it's really quick and it's gonna take a little bit of practice. I mean, it's okay if you, you know, if you don't, you can't do that yet. It still sounds good if you're going. But if you want to make it sound like the song, you really need to learn how to deaden those strings. Let go. All right? And in doing that, it's going to be really important that, especially when you're here, that you're deadening this low E string. So let's say, like, look for example, let me not touch that or not deaden that. Here's what it sounds like. It sounds a little bit too low. You don't want that in there. So what you're gonna do is when you lay down um, this chord, you're gonna put the tip of your finger on the low E to deaden it. You don't want to. You don't want to get that in there. And you got this. And you're gonna be doing that down here as well. 
don't you want don't want that coming out right so you got that so you're actually holding on this chord a little bit longer than these Sometimes just throwing in those mutes is gonna make it sound really good. So you don't wanna be playing that all the way through. And here's what I mean by the difference between the muting and the not muting. So it sounds pretty good that way, but you know, you can play around with it and make it your own. If you wanna, if you wanna go. You know, you can do it your own, all right? I'm not gonna show you the strumming pattern because it's, it's pretty difficult, but you know, make it your own. That's what the point of learning songs is, right? Make it your own. Um, what else is there? Uh, that, you know, that's more or less a song. Um, really, it's all about the vibe, right? So. Slapping down on it, I'm going. Right, so here is the solo um, that we all know and love at the end of the song, and here's how it goes, all right? So you're gonna start at the five, go to the three, and go to the two on the B string. So here's, what, here's how it goes. And you're letting go right there at the end. So you can play this, you know, a few different ways. You can slide into it. You don't have to do that. If you, if you can't do that, you can just slide down to it. Right? But what's important is you're hitting that, that B string in the five. Three. Right? And you come in the high E string. Seven. Six. Nine, five, three, five, three, two, there you go, seven, high string, six, really it's that simple, you know, make it your own, slide into it, add some vibrato. That's it. That's the song.